was working at the children's hospital one night and we had a young woman come in. She had, she had literally been taken off, uh, she had been passed out on a street bench, brought into the hospital at two in the morning and I was seeing her. And apart from her first and last name, we didn't know anything about her. And this was incredibly alarming to me that in a first world country, that I have a young lady below the age of 16 in our emergency department and I don't know where she lives, I don't know who her parents are, I, have, I, I don't even know like, what her friends, I don't know anything about her. And, and this started a three hour odyssey of phone calls to, to the Ministry of Children and Family Development, you know, trying to get through confidentiality provisions, trying to access medical records from a different health authority. I mean, this is not a big country. BC has, I think, four and a half million people. This country has 36 million people. That's about the size of a small town in China. You know, this, this shouldn't be hard. Um, but, you know, to do our jobs, we need to have the, this interconnectedness. Lack of connection between healthcare and social services really sticks out to me. In the mental health field, we really know that the antidote to trauma is connection, and getting your community connected to the patient <laughs> is key. It's more than just a prescription. 